Hey everyone, today I'm just going to go over a few Premiere Pro shortcuts. I know a lot of these are pretty basic. I've been editing in Premiere for about six years now, and there's a couple of these that I just learned in the past year, and they've been super helpful. Here are some of my most used Premiere Pro shortcuts. Let's say I make an in and out point here. If you want the cursor to go back to the in point, hit shift plus I. And then if you want the cursor to go to the out point, hit shift plus O. And then to bring this clip into the timeline, the shortcut for that is comma. And it'll bring it right into the timeline. Another shortcut is command L. That will unlink your video and audio so that you can move them separately. You can also command L to link them back together. Also, if you want to edit the video or audio track separately, hold down option. Then you can make adjustments to either just the video track or just the audio track. Another helpful one is command R. It'll bring up this, the clip speed duration. So let's say, since this is a slow-mo clip, I'll change it to 20%. And right there, it'll slow it down right away. A couple of shortcuts that I've been using lately are Q and W. These are super helpful. If you use W, it'll cut off the tail end of the clip. So if I hit W right now, it'll cut that section off. And then if I hit Q, it's going to remove whatever's before the cursor and automatically move whatever's after the cursor to fill in the empty space. So I'll hit Q. And this has been just super helpful to, to trim the clip while it's in the timeline. Another helpful one is G for audio gain. This one you might have to set up on your own in the, in the preferences of Premiere. But I have it set up so that if I hit G, the audio gain comes up. If you want to switch clips in the timeline, let's say I want this clip to be here and this clip to be here, here's an easy way to do it. Select the clip, hold down command, and then just drag this clip and it'll switch those clips. Obviously C is razor, so you can make cuts. And let's say you want the cut to go through all the tracks, hit shift, and then click and it'll make a cut through the whole timeline. Let's say I make a color correction to this clip right here. So I brighten it by 0.9 and you want that effect to be copied onto the rest of these clips. Here's what you do. Command C for copy and then if you want to paste just that effect onto these clips hit option command V. It'll bring up this paste attributes menu and just hit OK. Then it'll paste the color correction to these clips. And you can do that with any effect under the effect controls menu. Another really basic one is F and that is just to match frame. So whatever is here in the timeline, you can press F and it'll bring up that clip in the source menu at this exact frame. Also, if you double click a clip in the timeline, it'll bring up the clip in the source menu and it'll show you what you have in the timeline here and you can actually drag and adjust that right here in the source clip so it'll actually change what you had in the timeline then obviously the plus sign and the minus sign key are to zoom in and out in the timeline let's say I have some clips over here and instead of copying and pasting this music what you can do is hold down option and then it'll automatically duplicate whatever you select. So hold down option, drag, and it'll duplicate whatever you have and you're dragging. Those are some of the most common shortcuts I use. I can't think of any other ones right now. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Also, if you'd like some more tutorials, let me know what you'd like to learn. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.